Yo, what is going on? It is your boy Bobby Sauls back on the scene. You know what I mean, what I'm talking about. And today in this video, I'm coming at you live with a brand new unboxing. But before we get into that unboxing, let me say thank you to each and every single one of you that clicked play on this video. If you click play, you know what sneaker we are about to be talking about. I'm super excited. I have not opened up the box yet and I haven't seen them in person, only have seen them online. We are going to be showing off talking about, giving our opinions, showing you what they look like on foot about the Jordan 5 Off-White Sale Collaboration. I'm super excited if you guys are here um, and you don't already follow my social medias. If you could do that, the links are all in the description. If you can go and do that, that would really help me out big time. And you can stay up to date with what I got going on in my life. So I would appreciate that if you guys could do that. But with all that being said, let's jump right into this unboxing. I'm not going to waste any more time. Where is that box? Where did it go? Oh my God. All right. So look here, we have a box. As you can see, I don't know why, first and foremost, why Nike is shipping out boxes with this tape on it. Like, are you asking for somebody to steal my shoes? I don't know. But um, before I open up this box, I do want to give a quick shout out. One of my viewers from my stream um, goes by Mike. Shout out to my boy Mike, man. He gave me these for a little bit under market value, what they're going for right now. So I do want to say thank you so much to my boy Mike. Uh, he hit for retail on the Nike sneakers app, hit me up and was like, yo, I got these in your size. Do you want them? And I was like, bro, come on, man. Like, of course I want them. Let's open these things up. I got the big knife. Do not try this at home. The big knife really helps me open up all my packages. So thank you, big knife. But yeah, let's jump right into it. Like I said, I haven't opened these up yet. Uh, ah. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh yeah, bro. I'm excited. Oh yeah, get these things out of the box. Get these things out of the... Get these things out of the box. Ah! All right. So, as always, I do talk about whether in my unboxings, whether there's like a special box to the sneaker that I'm talking about. And these right here, obviously, as you can see, are a little bit different than most Jordan 5 boxes. There is, and I don't really know. I would love if anybody knows to let me know down in the comments. I don't know what the whole like circle thing is that Virgil has going on with all his Off-White 5 collaborations. There's like these see-through circles on the 5 box. Now, I'm a fan. I like that a lot. That's dope. Like I said, I don't really know too much about why that is. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. There might be a story behind it. I really don't know. Boom. Ah, all right. So off the rip, as you guys can see, there is like this clear off-white tissue paper even though it's not tissue paper it's like plastic but let me go ahead and open this up for you guys and show you look this is the material on it and it has like the off-white branding in there it's uh it's pretty crazy that's super different in itself as well but oh my god let's get these things out of the box oh my gosh look at these things let's get them out and let's talk about them. Let me tell you my opinions on them. Oh, they just. Woo! Here we have the Jordan 5 Off-White Sale. Now, I'm a fan of this shoe already off the jump. They do have like some crazy yellow tint to them. And I don't know if like the camera's really gonna pick it up as well as it should. I hope that it does. But uh, it's like a old, vintage vibe to them fresh out the box like they look like they've aged over time which is super cool um speaking on the material of the shoe it isn't leather i don't know what you would call it but maybe like a nylon type material it's not leather at all the shoe does not have leather on it 
Um, I'm a fan of that. It's pretty different. You know, most Jordan 5s are, we're used to the whole leather or suede type feel. Never really nylon on a 5 before. That's different. That's dope. Um, speaking of the circles that I said on the box, they do have these circles where you could apparently cut these out. I don't know what that is about. Um, I don't really see myself cutting a hole in these sneakers so you can see my feet or my socks. But they say that you can do that. I, like I said, I'm not going to be doing that personally. I'm just super excited to have it. We always have to touch on the soles. They, uh, they come yellow. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Or, or you know, a lot of sneaker heads always want their, their uh, soles to be super icy. I, I'm a fan of that yellow already coming, looking old vibe to the shoe. I'm a fan of that. I do like the laces on there. The laces are not white. They match the same color almost as the uh, nylon upper where it's like a cream, like off white color. They do have the zip tie that, you know, famous zip tie and all the off white collabs. They have the zip tie, um, this time featuring in like a yellowish, like it almost looks old again, color. Like it's like hard to explain really. Like it looks like this was white at one time and then got, it was just became old and crusty over time. Like that's literally what the color and what it looks like. The back of the shoe, it does feature Nike Air, almost like underneath this nylon. Yeah, check it out. The uh, the nylon, it's not on top like we're used to seeing on other sneakers. It's underneath this nylon material as well as the 23 on the heel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the 23 is like underneath that nylon material. I'm a fan, man. I really like this shoe a lot. I've seen a lot of people online saying that they like the black pair better. If you guys don't know, there is a black pair of off-white fives that came out earlier this year. And... I don't know, man, after having these in hand, and I have seen the black pair in hand, I don't personally own them, but I have seen them in my hand before, and um, they're dope too. I mean, they're both dope in their own way. One thing I do wanna talk about is that the shoe comes with two different pairs of laces, off-white branding where your shoelaces say shoelaces. Shout out to A Boogie for coming up with that line um, <laughs> in that song. I forget what song it was, but he said, off-white, man, my shoelaces say shoelaces. That's dope. I I love that that special, like, you know, touch that Virgil puts on all his off-whites. The shoelaces really say shoelaces. One thing that I'm not a fan of, if I had to say, and I haven't really unlaced them yet, um, is the tongue. Now, let me, let me try and unlace one of these so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, like I said, Virgil is... A genius when it comes to these off-white collabs and I'll give it to him man. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this before they come with like This like that's never come on any five. So that's pretty cool um, Virgil is a genius, but like I said before with the whole like holes thing. I'm not really sure what that's about um, One thing I don't like is that they didn't give you the option like on everywhere else of the shoe the holes have like a filler there you know what I mean? Like you don't, can't go through it. On the tongue of the shoe, you can see through, look. You see my eye blinking, bro. You can see through the tongue of the shoe. I don't really know if I like that, to be honest with you. That's one thing I'm like, why is there a hole in the middle of my tongue? Like, what, bro? <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, it is different. Like I said, that's the whole thing about off-whites. They are different, but, um, I don't really know how to feel about that, man. Like it's, you couldn't give me the option where like I could punch it out if I wanted, you know? There's a hole in the middle of my tongue, man. Whatever, not that big of a deal. But yeah, like I said, man, overall this shoe was a must for me. I think it was one of the hottest shoes of the year, in my opinion. I know I said that in my last unboxing of the Mochas. Personally, I'm a huge Jordan 1 fan. So that's, I mean, go watch that video if you wanna hear more about why I think that's one of the hottest shoes of the year. But this shoe overall the hype you know the off-white and just the colorway itself um to me one of the most hyped shoes of the year so i'm happy that i was able to grab these for a decent price um you guys know me i always do whether i'm going to be reselling these 
on my merch store or whether I'm going to put these on my feet. And I promise you, these are staying in my collection and I'm putting them, I'm wearing them. I'm not doing that weirdo shit where they, sh they, they sit in a shelf. These are getting worn today. So if you guys want to see how I style these, see the pictures that I take of them, go follow my Instagram. I'm going to show you guys what these things look like on feet. That's really all I have um, for this shoe. I appreciate everybody that watched. If you guys could, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about your boy. Go follow all my social medias if you haven't already. It's your boy, Bobby Souls. Checking out. Until next video, let me know what you guys are thinking of the Off-White 5 sales down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.